Morning guys, Sky Football here, back with another video, and today's video is me talking about the latest update on st my non the non-league club I support, Stafford Rangers, and the new signings. So basically, the new players that we've all signed, really. So basically, just an in brief squad update, really. So thought you wanted to share this with you. The first signing I am going to show you today is one that was done at the weekend. These signings were these three signings that I'm going to tell you about were. Confirmed at the weekend, but I forgot to do it then because I was doing like Premier League and Championship score predict predictions, so I couldn't fit it all in. I just couldn't fit it all in in that day. So right, I hope everybody is well and of course enjoying all the football. My Championship season has ended, but the Premier League is still going on. I'm really impressed with how my team are doing. Wolves at the moment. We got Chelsea on Saturday. I would. I'll quite happily take a point on Saturday, but we need three points to make sure Spurs don't win. So right guys, let's just get into the video. The first signing is Jamie Slay. This is him here. Jamie Slay, number 12. Right, I'll give you some informa information on him. He he plays as a striker and he comes in from he's coming in from Hina Town. He scored the um they they're I think they're about two or three divis divisions divisions lower than Stafford. So since he's been at Hina Town, he scored ninety eight goals in a hundred and two appearances at step five and six over the last three season. That's an achievement, even though it's not, a, even though it's two or three levels below us. It's still impressive at any any level, really. Just hopefully he can, he can bring the goals to Stafford. Hopefully. So that, that, that's the first signing for you all. Right, this is the second signing. Second signing is Andre Johnson. This is him here again. That's him there. Mm. Right, I'll tell you some information on this guy here now. Right, he's a striker from Grantham Town. They're in Stafford's League, they are. So it's always nice to know that the stri that we've got a player that's from our, our step in, and a team who are in our league. So... However, he did start the season at Boston United, who are in National League North, one league higher, higher than us. To know that he's been playing at a club higher than us is something that you always want to see. Right, after he had loaned, since he's been at Boston United at the start of, see, start of the season, he's had loan spells with Worksop Town, Hena Town, Corby Town and Alfreton Town. So he's been to some teams that are below our level and below our level and and higher than our le higher than our level. So that's always nice to see. It's always nice to see. Right, the last the last signing here, which I'll show you now, is Callum Callum Coyle. That, that's him there. Quite a small list that. He's quite a youngest that he is. He, he plays as a striker and is an attacking midfielder. Something si Attacking midfielder is just basically something similar to Reed Yate Coles that we had at our club, who sadly did. He, who left and went on to Farsi Celtic. So, he's, this player that comes in, he can play striker and he can play attacking midfielder. He comes in from Soli or Moors. I think they play in one or two divisions higher than us. I'll just go check what league they're in now, actually. I've got, I use an app called Flash Scores. Really, I do suggest this app to a lot of people. Really good app for football results. Also, I do recommend... Um, I do recommend football web pages as well, because you get non-league scores on there as well. Get better non-league scores on there. 
I'll, I suggest one one football to people as well. That's also a really good app to use. So I thought I'd share that with you. Right, um, on to what league Sodi or Moors are in. I thought I'd just, I thought I'd just check that for myself. They're in National League North. They finished ninth this season, one point off the playoffs. So they're obviously quite a good side. So you come from a very good team. That's what we that's what we like to see. And he started there in 2017, where he signed all the papers at there at Sodio. And however, he did start at Warsaw, though, who are currently now in League Two. But I think they were in League One at the time. Right. Um, let me just say um, what's good about these three signings being brought in. What I like about these three signings. They're all they're all strikers, and that's something that we've needed all season. Cause we had an awful season this year. Well, we didn't play bad football. It's just that there's literally nobody there to finish this season. And hopefully they can give us some support up top. We have got Ryan Winter who can play striker, but I don't think that'll be enough at the club. So I'm glad Jody has thought that thought that through to bring in like um, three new players and. I was worried, and I was worried because we didn't bring in too many players. I was worried that we weren't. I kept asking, when are we going to get a striker all the time? I'm so glad we got it now. Right, I'm at the end of the video now, so if you like, I hope everybody did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a, uh, to give it a like. And, and if you really are enjoying the channel, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I want to 53 subscribers. That's not, that's not bad, really. That, that's not bad. So, I'll see, you again, I'll see you again on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, for these score predicts, for Premier League score predictions. Until then, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, goodbye, bye, guys.